Hey guys, and welcome to the seventh episode of my Barrows series where I attempt to get all the unique items in the Barrows. Um, the normal Barrows, not the Rise of the Six. As always, I'm still using my range setup where I use my Ascensions and uh, Armadil and things like that. And I do bring my Drygors with just in case I want to kill Akrasai, but I usually now use uh, Barrows Amulet on his chest so I never have to kill him. Um, I still like have him dead for the kill count so I do have a chance to add, add his armor even though I have the full set if you've been watching this series I still want to kill Akrasai because then I can uh, get the true drop rate of all the drops um, of barrows and stuff like that and I know a lot of people say don't kill Ak Akrasai if you don't want the pieces and blah 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 things like that but it has been confirmed that more brothers you kill the the better the chance of you getting a drop um, from barrows it was confirmed a long time ago that six brothers is one in 16 drop rate for any barrows item and it seems like my drop rate's like 1 in 12 with 7. On the forums, a JMod did confirm that if you kill Akrasai, it does increase the chance of a Barrows item. Originally, it didn't, and then they patched it when they uh, realized it wasn't in the game's uh, code, and uh, they fixed that. So yes, it's now in the game's code. So if you do kill 7 Brothers, you have a better chance of any Barrows items, not just the Akrasai pieces. That's why I'm killing it, so I have a better chance of drops all around. It might be faster to just do six, because then I won't ever get Akrasai, things like that. But the thing is, I really don't care. I mean, Akrasai is worth crap, but it, it'd be kind of cool, nonetheless, to get, you know, 20 or something items of Akrasai. Um, they'll probably not even sell, but still to have 20 items of Akrasai would just be so amazing. But enough blabbering, let's uh, go into the actual things about the episode. So this episode, um, early on I got a Guffin's Chain Skirt, and that was pretty awesome. Um, it actually broke my dry streak. I think I had like a 54 dry streak um, before I got the Guffin's Chain Skirt, so it was really nice that I got that, broke that dry streak, and uh, then I could move on and uh, not care about me being dry so long. And then near to the end of the episode, um, like around 45 chests in, I got an Akrasai Hood, which is kind of demoralizing because I have uh, now three of them, but uh, who cares, I got over it pretty quick. And I went on to the rest of the chests. And then um, I did get a Darox plate body, which I was initially really happy about because I thought I didn't get it. But apparently I already had it from the second episode. So uh, that is also kind of lame. But I'm not going to complain because it's around 400k. And I think that's pretty decent for a Barrow's item. And uh, yeah, if I get a Darox item, I shouldn't be that mad, to be honest, because they're all relatively a few hundred k uh, more than the other ones. So um, yeah. Now let's go into what I have in my tab and stuff. So as for the regular drops, everything is just going up like normal. And another cool thing, I did get two Dragon Medhelms, and that was really, really awesome to finally get, because I was waiting when I was going to actually get a Dragon Medhelm, and it was <laughs> it's kind of cool because I got two within like five chests. So yeah, I don't have the clip for that, but uh, yeah, there you go. I got two of them in uh, the these 50 chests. Now for the actual Barrel's equipment. Here you go, now the um, Guthans Chain Skirt is highlighted, so that's another part of Guthans set, so I mean that's pretty cool. Um, you know what's weird, I have not get, gotten any Varix or um, Ahrem's pieces, which is kind of weird, like, I was, think, I was thinking I would probably get a few of those, but so far I haven't gotten any. So yeah, now let's go into the actual price check of my tab now, so I'll meet you guys there. Alright guys, here's my uh, tab and stuff for my Barrows. And uh, you know what? I noticed last episode I did not price check my uh, my coin drops from Barrows, which uh, you know it's only like 260k or something like that from the last episode. But uh, I mean that does add up. So uh, whatever I remembered this time. So here you go, 300k. So before I actually price check, um, last episode was at 36 mil. So uh, let's actually see what I gained from that. So I'm gonna price check and see what we got. All right, it looks like I got 39 mil, and uh, that is kind of weird. Um, I think that I would be a little bit more, but uh, it just seems that things probably have been dropping. Um, it looks like the mine runes have dropped the one GP that they used to have. Bolt racks dropped, uh, totems, pretty much every item that I'm seeing right now has dropped some type of value since um, I last price checked. And it's kind of weird that I only gained like three mil, 3.5 mil, even though I got um, three items. Uh, it was, they were really cheap items, like I'm not gonna lie, but just the items were around a mil. I did look in my uh, things and it looked like my uh, items that I got, like my chaos runes, death runes, and blood runes weren't really a huge um, change. That that could be it too, but uh, oh well, I guess um, I'm not gonna complain. 40 mil now from Barrows. That is actually really, really cool. I can't wait until I break the 100 mil mark. 
Like, that'll be a while, but it seems right now that I'm going more than 100k per chest now. So that is kind of cool, because I'm expecting this series to be around 1,500 chests. So, I mean, if it is like, let's say, 100k each uh, chest on average, that's 150 mil that I'm going to make from this series. And uh, to be honest, that is more than enough, because I'm having tons of fun with this series. But uh, I don't want to be like at 1,200 with a few items left. Um, that is what I'm kind of scared about. Let's just hope my luck keeps on going and uh, I can keep on getting items pretty consistently. So anyways, guys, drop down a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Be sure to follow me on Twitch as well. I've been trying to stream daily for the past week and a half, and it's pretty much working out. I've only missed one day, so that is uh, really awesome. So if you want to join in on the fun, go there and follow me. And there's going to be a little change in my uh, upload schedule kind of thing. I'm trying to get this Barrow series done um, relatively soon. So what I'm going to try to do is uh, maybe upload one or two Barrows episodes a week. Most likely two, just so that I can get uh, things going. Because if it does take 1,500 chests um, and I go one per week at this point, I'm not going to be done until end of the summer probably. So uh, yeah, I need to really speed things up. And uh, 50 chests are not hard for me to do. I could do that in a night or like on a stream. So um, it's not really hard for me to do two or three a week. It's just that because I only upload... Um, every two days, it's kind of like sometimes I have too much barrows like that I've done that I can't really upload it that um, constant, and I don't want to give you double barrows videos, so I always try to fill in a video um, in between. So the max I can really do is three per week, but uh, maybe in the summer when I try to upload maybe daily or close to daily, I'm trying to do probably five uploads a week. Uh, maybe I can do like three barrows and then two other videos or two or three other videos. And that way I can speed up my Barrow series so I can work on my other series, like my Slayer series, which I hope you guys are excited for because that is going to be starting pretty soon. So yeah, enough rambling. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys in the next video. So have a good day.